thanks for stopping in. Today we're going to talk about the KNS Precision Plastic Delete Kit for the uh, Galil Ace and 7.62x39. This does not work on 5.56 or 308 models. Uh, those still require the um, magwell to operate um, the Steneg mags or the uh, SR25 mags uh, you know, for each model. So this you can see I've already cut the portion of the magwell off. Um, previously before this kit came out so I could use fatter mags like uh, X-Tac or uh, drums so now we're going to remove the rest of this plastic and it's a pretty simple process you need a flathead screwdriver um, you need a pretty decent sized one bigger than this most likely uh, the first time you take it off they're really torqued in there so we're just gonna that's not even fine enough to open that up but get this opened up I'm gonna try really hard not to get in frame here it's going to be difficult for me for this video. You're probably going to need a wrench on your flathead screwdriver because the first time you undo this flathead in here, it's very difficult. So, get this out. It's just a flathead, large flathead screw bolt, which you'll see here in a minute. Take the dust cover off. Get it out. You can leave this in, I'm going to take it out, just make sure it's out of my way. Get all that out of here. So once the screw's out, you have to take the safety out, similar to a standard AK. Roll it up and out. Now you'll have this piece of safety left in here, the left side, which is connected to this piece in here that holds the screw in the stock screw which will get the disconnect there's just a little nub on there there we go looks like that just a nut for the screw and a, a little piece for the safety to rock on so once you pull that out the uh, left side safety falls out you can take the plastic portion off uh, we're not going to reuse the grip nut with the pivoting point or the original grip screw. Get rid of that. Here you can see the new grip, well it was the grip nut and pivoting point, now it's just the pivoting point and uh, the attachment piece for the lower uh, plastic delete kit. So get rid of that. When you put this in, the pin goes to the left side for the left side safety. Let's get that in place. Um, just bumps right up against the mag catch. Now, it's easier if you get the safety in before you drop this piece in. So, the right side safety, similar to an AK safety you see here, um, get it in there. The, the hole on the end of the left side safety goes onto this shorter hole or shorter um, pin here. This is the pivoting pin for the entire safety. Goes through to the left side of the receiver. So the left side safety attaches to that one. Get it in there. And, oops. Don't let go with the other hand though. Try not to lean in front of the camera here. Makes everything a little more difficult. So there we go, got it. Oop, oh, didn't get it. really isn't that hard when you're not worried about leaning in front of a camera. Okay, there. So I got it on. I got the left side safety on the part uh, of the right side safety. Now we just want to line up that last pin with the outside hole of the receiver and it will snap in place. There we go. Rock it down so we don't lose it. Now the left side safety is attached. We're going to drop in the new pivoting point from KNS into the same spot as the old one. Now this we just need to line up that pin on the you know the pivoting point pin with the hole in the left side safety arm, which is felt like right there. You got it. Yep, we're locked in place. Oop, 
Eh, don't knock it out though. Okay. Add this piece. Or no, I just knocked it out again. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten this down just a little bit just to keep it in place. Don't want to tighten it yet. Holy guacamole. Try not to lean in front of the camera. It's really as much easier than it looks. Um, like I said, I'm just trying really hard not to lean in front of the camera here. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Sorry. You can look at the back of my head for a second. There we go. Okay, got it back in. Drop that Allen back down in there. Get screwed into the lower piece. Now you're gonna want to crank this down to whatever torque specification you're using. I'm just getting a hand tight uh, for the video. Verify that your safety moves, which I'm having a problem. So that means I need to just bump this over just a hair. It's probably not lined up completely with the hole. <clears throat> there we go. Safety's working. And now that I tighten it up, it's not again. I didn't have it all the way into post. There we go. Tighten it down. Safety's working. As you can see there. Perfect. Now you just want to add your preferred AR grip. I have the uh, Magpul K2 Slim. Just like you would on an AR. If you're Really unfamiliar with ARs and you only do AKs. It's very simpler, simple, almost just like an AK. My lined up there. Get this tightened down. Tighten that to your preferred spec. I'm just gonna do hand tight for video. Double check again. Just make sure the safety's working before you put everything back together. You can see there it's working. All right, so safety off. Put this guy back together. This is gonna be no different if you have a rifle. You're just gonna have a longer um, piston, etc. There we go. And you are done. And that's how it will look. Pretty cool. Way better than that. Now I did have a questions about adding grip length to the rifle. Um, a longer grip than this. From what I can tell, it's actually a hair shorter. So let me uh, put it under here so you can kind of see. Trying to line it up best I can. Right about there, you can see that the uh, the K2 grip is just a just a hair shorter actually than the uh, original, and it looks like you're losing a lot of uh, trigger guard space. You're really not. You're losing a little bit here in the front where they've angled it up, but that just makes it easier to get to the mag release. Personal preference, I suppose. I much prefer this over this, and especially prefer this over. This with the additional mag weld that I have already removed and do not have right now. So there you go. Super simple. Took me about twice as long in this video to do it than it should have taken you. Um, just because I'm trying to stay out of my own way. Uh, trying to stay out of the way of the camera. Cool. Thanks for checking in.